What's up with everybody? It's your boy Mookie Jones for Radar Sports and Base, man. We got a great episode for y'all today. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button as well, man. And don't forget to join our playback app, man. Uh, we be live there watching the games, man. Download the playback app. Watch the games with us live and free with great commentary and entertainment, man. Uh, subscribe to our playback account. Join our playback room. Get v free VIP pass to watch the games with us live. Playoffs about to come, man. So it's going to be very, very entertaining to watch there, man. So it's crazy how when Kayla Clark lose the national championship game a lot of people want to come out and hate on her right um a lot of women coming out and want to hate on her right and to me i just don't understand it right um shout out to kayla clark unbelievable uh tournament performance um she to me the greatest women's basketball player i've seen in my lifetime uh she is unbelievable she took a team to the national championship game while putting up historical numbers right well, with a team without a top 50 recruit, right? And um, it's crazy how, you know, she is changing the landscape of women's basketball, right? Um, she's bringing the eyeballs, the attention. I ain't gonna lie, man. I never thought that I'll be sitting in this chair right now and be producing a women's basketball topic, man, because that's how transcendent she is. That's how influential she is. That's how... All the eyeballs is looking at Caitlin Clark. And there's the reason why, you know, they're peaking at, what, 14 million views, 15 million views, right? 12 million views, right? In, in, in games, um, in the tournament, right? And the women's basketball has been entertaining because of Caitlin Clark and how she's been playing basketball. I mean, I've never seen a woman that has a range. I've never seen a score better than Caitlin Clark. She has, she's a great pick and roll ball handler. Great transition passer as well, right? Um, she's shifty with great ball handling skills. I mean, she is unbelievable. I've never seen nobody like her. But then you have women coming out there instead of giving her credit, instead of her, instead of you just you know uplifting her and sitting there saying that she's a problem and we're glad to have her and how she's changed the dynamic of women's basketball. We got women like Diana, uh, uh, Diana Tarasi, right? Who come out there and hating on Caitlin Clark? Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? You're celebrating and you're happy because Caitlin Clark loses the national championship game and you hating on her, man. Oh my goodness, chat. Um, so after the uh the game or during the game um against their South Carolina matchup against Iowa and South Carolina, the national championship game. Diana Tarasi sat there and said this. Reality is coming. You look superhuman playing against some eight-year-olds, but you're going to come play with some grown women that have been playing professional basketball for a long time. Are you serious, man? Girls like Sue Bird, Diana Tarasi, right? The Carter girl, man. All this talk about empowering, inspiring women, right? Talking about, oh, we need to uplift our women because women's basketball is everything, right? And two is to uplift Caitlin Clark. Y'all want to bring her down and, and, and step on her and shit on her every chance you get because you're jealous. Right? I'm seeing this girl, Caitlin Clark, transcend and uplift women's basketball. I'm seeing her bring the ratings, the views, the attention that women's basketball has never got in their lifetime, right? And 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 you know, bring to women's basketball at an unbelievable level right and then you got past and present former basketball players right that's shitting on caitlin clark bro that, that that is a that is embarrassing bro diana Taurasi should be embarrassed with herself bro she should be an embarrassed she should be embarrassed right caitlin clark had more points in the first quarter than diana Taurasi had Throughout her whole career average, bro. And that's a fact. And you want to sit there and hate on her because you sitting there saying that it's not going to translate at a WNBA level? What? Caitlin Clark is great. Nobody has half her range. Nobody can shoot the three ball better than Caitlin Clark. Nobody's not a better playmaker, a better passer than Caitlin Clark, right? And y'all want to sit there and say it's not going to translate at a WNBA level? What? Diana Taurasi, you should be hoping, you should be hoping that Caitlin Clark go to the WNBA. Because if he go, if she goes to the WNBA, it's going to make the WNBA more of a profit. 
The WNBA is sponsored by the NBA. They get their money off the NBA, or the back end of the NBA, and the TV deals and stuff like that, right? Caitlin Clark going into the WNBA is going to bring the proper popularity. It's going to bring the viewership, right? She's going to uplift that program and that league as well. So you sitting there hating on her, you should be hoping that she do that. You should be hoping that she get more eyeballs at the WNBA because nobody watched that. Nobody watched the WNBA. Nobody. Right? So at the end of the day, these females just hating on Caitlin Clark because she's good and she's great. And no, we have never seen what she's done. You know, they people sit there and say that she didn't win nothing. They say she couldn't win nothing. Right? They say, oh, we should crucify Caitlin Clark because she didn't win nothing. Right? You got Brianna Stewart sitting there saying that what Caitlin Clark doing is not historic because she hasn't won nothing. Meanwhile, Brianna Stewart had top 10 players on her team when she won a national championship that was in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark only has maybe one top 50 recruit. What are we talking about here, bro? Show respect to greatness, bro. Y'all hating on her, and she didn't even say a word. She's humble. She's respectable, right? And she's that great. And she's just that elite. What are we doing here, bro? What are we doing here, bro? Diana Taurasi is sad. Brianna Stewart is sad. Sue Bird is sad. Legends in the game talking about uplifting women's basketball, right? Shitting on a girl that's about to transcend the sport. This is sad. This is sad. Shout out to Kayla Clark. She is the GOAT. I've never seen a woman that played basketball better than Kayla Clark. Real talk. Those are my thoughts. It's your boy Mookie Jones. I'm out, gang.